for you. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland takes us to an Italian pastry shop making desserts for nearly a century. Connecticut's Little Italy, New Haven's Worcester Street, well known for its pizza. But today we're talking pastries as in Libby's. Getting set to celebrate its 100th anniversary, they've been keeping customers both near and far coming back for years. Of course, this is one of my favorite places. Picking up a tray of cookies, Dominic Uliano loves Libby's Italian pastry shop. But just don't put this longtime regular on the spot. Do I have to pick a favorite? <laughs> Their cheesecakes are great. If you order ahead of time, they'll make you a wonderful pie. They'll make you a fantastic cheesecake. If I had to choose, let's see in the display case here, the chocolate dipped and the chocolate mousse cannolis. Looking at the display cases filled with hand-decorated Italian cookies and pastries made fresh daily right here, and you'd be pretty hard-pressed to choose two. Some pinoles, some cannolis, and some soydels. Um, just all the classics. For Bianca Winward and Ross Shaw, visiting her grandparents in Connecticut for the holidays, Stopping at Libby's was on their list. You can't get anywhere else. There's nowhere quite like it. And um, yeah, it just reminds me of home. When you live in Michigan, that means picking up some of Libby's famous Italian ice, even in the winter. The Italian ice, it, there's nothing like it. It cannot be beaten. Yeah, I did two of those and a chocolate cannoli. And this family owned Worcester Street staple in business since 1922 is now getting set to celebrate 100 years. The original um, Libby is actually my great-grandfather, Liberato Delamira, um, and he passed it down to his son, Fortunato Delamira, then to his daughters, Joanne, Dolores, Leona, and Marie, and my dad, Tony, and now it's my brothers, um, Sal and Paul, myself, and my sister, Gina. So we're just kind of trying to get that fourth generation uh, ownership and trying to, like I said, keep it going as long as we can keep it going. In fact, Mark D'Angelo says this summer they renovated Libby's, giving it a fresh look. But those long-loved recipes creating a century of sweet success aren't going anywhere. We have desserts everybody enjoys. We have Italian ice, gelato, cookies, uh, cannolis, pastries. So it's a lot of mix, uh, mixture. So it's some, something for everybody, basically. Kind of a tradition, especially for local people to come down, have a pizza on a Friday night, Saturday night, and then stop here, coffee, pastry, Italian ice. You really want to get here, but if you can't, don't worry. From its website, Libby's actually shipped its cookies all over the U.S. And of course, we've got all the information on the Channel 3 app. Reporting in New Haven for Something's Cooking, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.